what's up and welcome to the video if you're new here a lot of the content on my channel is centered around aim assist on mouse when I say aim assist on mouse I'm not talking about cheats like aimbot or wall hacks I mean turning the mouse into a controller to get the aim assist that controller users have in games one of the main programs I use to do this is read WASD if you're a controller player I've got a controller I've been playing with and I'll be showing it in use as well as implementing rewatch configs with it too so make sure you subscribe if you're interested in seeing future content. Even if you're not going to use aim assist on mouse and just want to play controller, you should pay attention to the video. You always want to know what you're up against in these games. Not to mention, I'll be talking about aim assist and some different ways you can use it and adjust how it works. None of my videos are sponsored videos. I just really like the program and sharing my configs for it with the community. The video today is going to be an update to my last Call of Duty config showing a couple different ways to change the way it works. Some people will say the aim assist feels a bit too strong, so if you're one of those people, make sure you pay attention. I'm also going to show you how to speed up your movements to feel more natural like keyboard and mouse. I'm not going to show setup or settings in this video. I went over all of that in my last video. I'll post links at the top here. I'll post them in the description below and at the end of the video. I also have a Discord where people share configs and I provide help. Even if I'm not around, most likely someone will be there to point you in the right direction. The Discord will be linked in the description along with the updated configs I'm going over in this video. Alright, enough of the introduction. Let's hop in game. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's very simple changes, but it needs a little bit of explaining. Alright, now our game. Let me start off by explaining what I'm going to be changing in the config today. It's got to do with the in-game settings. And we're going to be taking some things out of the config so first off let me help you understand what's going on here in Call of Duty so aiming input device we know that if you follow my videos you know that you're locked to input on controller right so you can only use mouse or controller while you're playing you can't switch this in game or anything but what a lot of people don't know is that you can use half of these as you're playing so you can use them at the same time here's an example let me pull up my camera here for you. A lot of people don't realize this, but you can actually use a controller and a mouse at the same time. So if you look here, I'll put this on mouse. And it's only the movement side. So the same thing will go with controller. You can use mouse and keyboard movement and use the aim on controller. Or you can use the stick and aim with the mouse. So you could do this without rewise or anything. And honestly, it feels really good uh, with a stick in your left hand and aim it with the mouse. I don't know why, but your the aim feels so fluent when you got the stick in your left hand. It's crazy. One thing I noticed picking this up. But yeah, besides the fact. So same thing goes if I switch this controller. You see, I can use my keyboard to move and my aim stick to aim. So and you still get the aim assist on the on the right stick too when you do this when you set a controller. You're only gonna get aim assist when you set a controller. If you're set to mouse, it doesn't matter. You're just getting the you're just getting the controller movement and you're st you're not gonna get any aim assist. So if I if I switch it here, you'll see no aim assist since we're we're on the mouse setting. There's no aim assist rotational aim assist while moving. So yeah, that's the gist of it. So what we're gonna do in the config today. Let me open the config here. Is we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to make your movement faster. So first off, if you know about controller, crouch and prone are the same key on controller, right? Crouch and prone are the same key. So this makes it a tad bit delayed when you're sliding. So if we just use our mouse and keyboard binds, which controller also works just like the aim, you know, just like the movement does on keyboard and mouse when we're set to controller. So for the first config, I'm just going to come into the config, and you don't have to make these changes if you don't want to. I'm going to link the configs in the description below. Like I said, you'll find them in the description below. We're going to delete crouch, and we're going to delete left control, which is our prone keys from the config entirely. I'm going to click on where it says on up here. I'm going to switch to the ADS layer, and I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to delete my C key and my left control keys because this is my crouch and prone buttons. Now, not every key works, so like things like ping, you still need added. I normally leave everything else. All right, so now when you go to slide and prone, you can still have your aim assist. 
And now you have mouse and keyboard sliding movement with the prone. So it's a lot faster this way. You can also do this with plates if you wanted. You can do this with plates too. So we'll come in the config. You delete four. You delete four. And controller players also do this. They actually map their plate button to keyboard and mouse to so it's faster plating. A lot of controller players won't tell you this. A lot of pro, a lot of you know, I see a lot of top streamers. They don't share this information with people. I see some, 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 uh, you know, some streamers do. Some uh, content creators do, but a lot of, a lot of streamers don't share this information with people. Even controller players are using mouse and keyboard binds to make their stuff faster. So, for instance, slide and plates is faster on mouse and keyboard. So, like a lot of, a lot of them will have four paddles and use certain paddles for these movements and stuff and they'll be bound to mouse and keyboard but we're doing it the opposite way we're remapping our mouse and keyboard to controller and we're just taking off some of the binds so that we have a little bit better movement instead of having you know delayed while we're prone and delayed while sliding there's none of that when you do this all right so now there's even more you can do this is just the first config so I'm gonna save this one this will be linked in the description below. I'll label it, you know, with just the crouching, crouching prone only and, and plates only. All right. So what we're going to do on this next one is we're going to we're going to do even more. We're going to take the crouch off. We're going to take the prone off in, in the config and make it regular mouse and key. We're going to take the plates and make it regular mouse and key. And we're also going to take movement off and make it regular mouse and key. Now, like I said, this is going to be, this is what I was talking about is going to be good for people that think it's too sticky. Because if you see when you're moving, you got the, the controller movement on, you see you get this, this rotational aim assist that tracks with the character. And the, the movement is also, the rotational aim assist you get on movement is also what makes your crosshair pull when characters jump in front of it. So we're going to take this off, but we're going to leave aim assist on the mouse side. We're going to leave leave the right stick on so what this is gonna do is give us just slowdown and precision aim assist it feels like rotational aim assist but it's not it only tracks the player bubble you are in sometimes it'll drag left and right if the characters are really close together like you'll see a character make it drag you know one way or other but usually you're already on that you had aimed at that character and you're inside their bubble so precision aim assist makes makes it where you you know it won't drag your crosshair only it'll stay on the person you're aiming at inside the, the aim assist bubble. If you don't know what the aim assist bubble is, you can feel it when you drag your crosshair across these targets. It starts, it's about this big around the target. You can feel it slow down when you get close to a target thing. But yeah, so basically what we're doing with this one is we're taking the movement off so we don't get rotational aim assist and we're only gonna have aim assist on our mouse movements. All right, so how we do this, is basically the same way except we're gonna find the movement keys as well so I'm gonna clear W I'm gonna clear A S and D and I'm also gonna find my crouch key clear that I'm gonna clear left control and oh yeah plates and we're gonna switch to the ADS layer do the exact same thing here clear W A S and D Gonna clear my plate key and clear my left control and C. Alright. Now I'm gonna click apply, save and apply the new changes. And now that you're we're here, you'll see I'm on controller still. I'm getting the aim assist on my mouse. But I'm freed up on my movement. So this means in hip fire. Unless you're moving the mouse, you still get aim assist and hit fire as long as you're you're moving with the target. If you're moving with the target, your crosshair with the target, you're gonna get aim assist. But yeah, it's just just a different way to do things. Some people may like this, some people may not. It works well though. You got the frat, fast uh, slide, you got the fast prone, you got the fast plates. So basically, just a different way of doing things, you know. And as I said, this, this can be done with a regular controller. You can bind your, your controller to mouse binds as well. Now, this usually takes 
an app like you know DS4 Windows or Rewise that I use and or even you know a lot of controllers come with their own app where you can bind stuff or they come with you know a way you can you know bind your paddles to certain keys and stuff like that so a lot of, a lot of things do this nowadays stuff this is stuff a lot of content creators don't talk about and won't tell you when they're going over their settings and stuff but I'm telling you this today so you understand how this works in Call of Duty so just a new way to do things I like either way it doesn't bother me if I you know because I know how aim assist works so it doesn't bother me having it on having it on moving but there is consider considerably less drag and there's benefits to taking rotational aim assist off of your WAS and D keys so there's definitely benefits to it yeah I feel like you can be a little more precise if you wanted to go even further and make it even less sticky there is a sticky aim combo in this config if you come to the ADS layer right here where it say it's gonna say on up here click the ADS layer again come here to this start press arrow on mount you're gonna click your aim button come to the start press arrow and you can clear this combo right here you just click this X next to where it says rewise mapping this is a sticky aim combo it shakes the crosshair up and down I just have this so so tuned up that you can't see it when I'm aiming you can barely see it if you're looking if you look hard enough you can see a little shake but you can just barely see it but all this does is make it where it tracks left and right I went over this in my last video I went over all the settings how to set rewise up if you want to use it so Again, the link will be in the description for that video, and I'll post it at the end of this video, and up top, you'll see, you'll see all kind of posts from the original video of this config, if you wanted the original config, you know, with everything bound in it, I bind everything to controller pretty much in it, so if you want that config, go check out the video, if you need to know how to use this, that video's be good to learn how to use this setup import the config I, I go literally go over everything I, in the gameplay I talk about how I use it how everything works how to you know everything that's different with it everything that's different with uh when you remap your mouse to a controller so make sure you go check that out if you need help with this and yeah there's also gameplay if you want to see it in use I just mess around I, I've got other videos where I've shown that I've shown this in use numerous times I just wanted to go over a new way to use the configs I know you know a lot of people are, are interested in this stuff and I, I feel like a lot of you will find benefits out of some of the stuff I just shown for sure especially with the sliding and the prone I think those two are, are really important and a lot faster same with the plates will hit faster if you clear plates from the config so that's pretty much it appreciate you joining me I hope uh hope you enjoyed the video and hope everyone has a wonderful day peace